everybody, this is Brenda, and I trust that you all are doing well on this beautiful Thanksgiving day. Hey, look, I have something today that's very special that I want to share with you. Right now, I am sitting in my sister's home. We're the two single gals of the family, and we decided to just come together and just fellowship with one another on this Thanksgiving day. But we're going to do something a little different. Today is going to be a non-traditional Thanksgiving dinner. I didn't feel like turkey. She didn't feel like turkey. So what we are going to, well, actually what she is going to do is put together her famous salmon and shrimp Alfreda. I cannot wait. She is a boss lady of this dish. So come with me. It's going to be a little longer video, so bear with me because I want you to see just how she put this dish together and when we sit down and enjoy it in good fellowship. Okay, you all go with me on this beautiful, beautiful Thanksgiving day. All right. and salmon fettuccine is it called shrimp and salmon fettuccine she did it for you know, I'm using lasagna looking for linguine that's good well, she I said have enough fettuccine with uh, linguine um alfredo shrimp and shrimp and uh salmon alfredo and she makes her own alfredo sauce so I can't wait she made it for an event that we had uh, at my house, um, and it went over very well. It was so good. So I asked her if she would do it. For uh, she and I are the uh, two single ladies of the family, so we're together and enjoying Thanksgiving together. And uh, we're just gonna have a fun time. Sage is upstairs, locked up in the bedroom because she don't want to be around the dog. She's terrified of the dog. So hey, that's okay. We're having fun down here. Can't wait to show you the end results, y'all. Be nice. Hey, baby. This is the little fella that terrorizes my seven-year-old granddaughter. <laughs>
I will also uh, add her ingredients down in the comment section. If you ever uh, want to try out her recipe. I can't wait y'all. I am so hungry. The salmon has skin on the back of it, so I'm going to remove the skin before I put it in the sauce. So you want yours on top? Yeah, I think so. So I make my plate. I'll just put it on top of my sauce. up from one of the local grocery stores. It's already prepared. Just 
oh so yummy. Just toast it up. It is ready. sister uh, grows her own uh, herbs and vegetables and I love it when they're harvest and come down here and get some fresh green peppers and basil and thyme and jalapeno peppers all good. I'm in her backyard and I'm just going to show you where all of the magic takes place. This is her. Of course, it's cold here now, uh, so nothing is pretty much growing too much now because the weather has changed. But this is where all the magic takes place. Harvest time, everything is, oh my god. It's overgrown, beautiful. She does beautiful green tomatoes. Just a lot of great stuff. Here's some herbs right here that are fresh. Look at that. She gave me some not too long ago. She brought a bag full to my house. And uh, I was baking chicken and putting basil on top of it. Thyme, it was just beautiful. But just wanted to kind of show you um, where she does her gardening. This is her backyard. I just love coming down and visiting. Okay, let's get back in and see how that food is coming. So here are our beautiful plates and napkins that we will be using. Give thanks to the Lord for He is good. Yes, He is. Our salad plates. So we're going to be we're going to be loading those up shortly. Can't wait. <laughs> 